can see in close-up the damage to that eye and Bob Shannon going to work straight away on it trying to staunch the flow of blood it's not as bad as it might be it's not as bad as that cut in this previous fight which was actually on the underside of the eyebrow yeah I think this cut is in a different position from the last cut I think it's running away the blood is running away from the eye and not directly into the eye so it let's won't affect him so much Jim. let's just see if we can see where it came it may have been in this exchange well, yeah, that, that slashing shot, I think that might be the one that did it. Most definitely, a great slice and left hook there has definitely done the damage. Here we see it from a different Ten angle. Seconds. There's the body shots, and then, now, was it that one? I'm not sure. Seconds out, round three. Well, they patched it up, there's a smear of grease around the right eyebrow of Andy Morris. Some people, some referees might uh, suggest that that ought to be wiped away, but he's allowed to continue. Third round, we gave the first one to Morris, how did you give the second? Uh, sorry, well, third, first round to Simpson, how did you give the second? Yeah, I've gave both rounds to Simpson so far, John, most definitely. Well, that's a, a different, good body shot, that yeah. quality shot. And uh, you can see... He's, showing confidence showing the confidence of a man who knows that he's added to his arsenal that he's got greater power than he had nine months ago when they fought for the first time and he's really going to try to work to the body of morris it's clearly a, a tactic that they've discussed and he's trying to soften morris up morris are coming back and just settling into a rhythm a little bit more effectively yeah morris has got really good footwork and in the first fight he used it in the later rounds to move around john simpson and really confuse him but John Simpson's taken it into his own account this time to land the body shots and slow him down for the later part of the fight. I think, uh, you know, you talk about learning fights, that fight which Simpson had against Derry Matthews, who's uh, uh, a little bit, uh, well, mischievously called by some people Dirty Derry. I mean, that was a really, really hard, gruelling fight right in somebody else's backyard. Simpson didn't win it, but he came through it very much on his shield. Yeah, it didn't happen. For me, he really did win the fight. You thought he won it? Yeah, I definitely did, yeah. Look at this. Both of them trying to tee off with solid shots. Look at that look of concentration as well on Simpson's face. He really fancies this tonight. I've never seen him look as good as what he does right now. Morris needs to up his work rate. This lad who... Wow. Referee Marcus McDonnell saying keep your shots up a bit, I think. The uh, body attack was just a little bit south of the border, according to the referee. Morris himself, a, a strong lad, works as a landscape gardener outside the, uh, outside the, outside the ring, so used to carrying flagstones and the like around. He knows all about the strength side of life. Yeah, you can tell with his physique, you know. Even when you shake Andy's hand, he's a very strong lad, you know. Did a number on Danny Thorpe in his last round. Oh, that's a good shot from Morris. That's his best punch of the fight so far. And it forced Simpson to really dig deep and breathe deeply. That was a really good, solid, straight right hand which landed on the, on the jaw. Best shot yet from Andy Morris, and he's doing now what he does best. He's getting into a rhythm. And he's a very difficult fighter to break once he gets into a rhythm. And that's why John Simpson has to keep him on the back foot, keep him pushed back and land on those big shots. He's being warned now for low shots. I think he's going to say, do it once more, and there's going to be points taken away. But to be fair, he was responding to one which looked very close to the border, which was thrown by Morris. Yeah, I think Andy's uh, chunks are running a little bit high also, John. Well, that was a close round for me. John Simpson was carrying on where he left off, when he walked into a, the best punch, the best combination, that best right hand that Morris has thrown in the fight so far. Danny Lee, the, common, the uh, corner man there. Let me see that right hand. Good shot. Three punch combination, but he had to suck it up after that. Yeah, he did. Danny Lee's telling John Simpson to keep busy. He wants to keep on top of him all the time. Oh, that's the low one. Yeah, that definitely was low. That was perilously close to the crown jewels. And he uh, has a smile about it, but I think it probably was pretty close to the target. Second down, round four. Well, it's turning out already to be the fascinating fight that we thought it would be. Andy Morris 
cut early, but they've done a good job in that corner to staunch the flow of blood. The champion, John Simpson, in the white shorts, started really well, but then Morris settling more into a rhythm in that third. Yeah, he did. He started to look good and really finding his rhythm, which what makes him a good fighter. Pays your money and takes your choice here. But back to Andy Morris at 6-1 to one on. I'd be a little bit, uh, little bit concerned, though. It's a very, very competitive one, this. Good work, though. That was a good left hook, good solid left hook, which you saw from Morris. Thudded it in. Well-to-do crowd here, of course, for this big fundraising, uh, big fundraising occasion. But uh, a fair few of them here really like the boxing as well. Good solid right hand again from from Simpson and getting uh, encouragement from his corner from Danny Lee as he landed that one. Good shot, good right hand. It looks like Andy Morris's eye has stopped bleeding already. And yep. Bob Shannon's done a terrific job on the cut. Simpson not quite maintaining the work rate that he did in the opening two rounds. He started really quick, and since Morris maybe got the better of the third, he's right back into it now. Right back in. Yeah, it's starting to look like he's, he's really finding his rhythm. And like I said earlier, John, when Andy Morris finds his rhythm, he becomes a very, very good fighter. I think this could really develop into a fascinating sort of toe-to-toe -to -toe battle the further this goes as the two men tire a little bit you're going to see some real leather thrown in there and they're starting to land more and more they're so well matched it's such an equal fight it's really really hard to say who you would think is going to run out the winner man <laughs> john simpson was saying I, I hope i'm going to get him out of my hair for good but i don't think you will you know because even whoever wins this you suspect that somewhere down the line they could fight yet again oh Andy look at that, Morris, look at that. Morris badly hurt and he's out of the ring he's out of the ring he took a really Three. bad one there oh solid shot Five. Well, just as we Seven. thought that Morris was coming right back into this, the cut opened up again, and he survives. But how badly was he hurt? Simpson now will fancy finishing this one. Badly. Andy Morris has got a great defence, and he's very, very fit, so that may get him through this. He's got to get through this last 20 seconds of round four, though, and these are anxious times for Andy Morris from Manchester. Is the champion, John Simpson, going to retain his title here and now? Seconds ticking away, and Morris badly needs to get through to the bell, and he's going to do so. Heads coming close, but that was a real bad knockdown for Andy Morris. Yeah.